Nathan, welcome to Bradford City. Good to see you and good to be able to chat with you. Uh, thoughts, first of all, on being here. Uh, I guess you're happy to be joining. Uh, yeah, really excited. Um, just looking forward to enjoying playing football again. Um, I'm grateful for the opportunity to come here and join a team that's pushing for to achieve something this season. I'm really excited and can't wait to get going. What was it that brought you here? A lot's been made, like we say, of the ambitions, as you mentioned, the promotion goals that the manager has set out. Is that something, obviously, with the experience you've got last season that you're willing to buy into and, and want to achieve? Yeah, I mean, I've been lucky enough that I had experience in these situations. Um, I managed to do it twice, thankfully. Um, so hopefully I can go and bring that to the team. Um, but it's exciting to come and try and enjoy playing football and especially to go and join a team that's looking to go and achieve something big. Um, obviously being a bit at a big club, Bradford, that kind of thing, needing to look into going push to go and really get into League One. They've been out of League One for probably too long for the clubs, for a club of stature, especially for the fans of big fan base as well. So hopefully I can come bring something to go and help um, us achieve our goals. You just talked to us a little bit about last season then at Bolton, again perhaps at a team that started probably a little bit slowly in terms of the season and then ended up going on a bit of a run second half of the season and getting promoted. What kind of experience did you take from that? Um, to keep faith, um, keep believing. I always believe from the first day to, to we, till we eventually actually pulled it off. Um, I know it was a slow start. There's no doubt about that. I probably had doubters and everything as well, but I always believed in what the team was doing, the players that we had, the staff that was doing. And I always kept believing, and I think that's what you got to keep doing. Like, especially, to be fair, we're Bradford here now are actually in a better position than what Bolton were at this point last season. So it's just keep believing, keep having faith, one game at a time. Um, that's all you got to do. got to tackle each game at a time. And um, just keep believing, keep having faith. We're going to need the fans. That's the one thing we didn't have last year was the fans, whether it was a, a good thing or a bad thing but the fans which can really be the 12 and I really push some but we've got to on the pitch be able to go and give them something to really cheer about to get behind us as well so it's a team thing for us staff and the fans all pull together we can, we can achieve our goals We know you're a forward player you scored in both games last season against Bradford City what kind of a player would you describe yourself as for those who perhaps haven't seen too much I want to get the ball I always want to try and be on the ball um, I want to get in positions to try and create score especially, um, and to go and have an impact on the game at all times. Um, obviously, it doesn't always work out that way, but uh, obviously I just can try and put my imprint on the game as much as possible and help my team as much as possible, um, both offensively and defensively. Um, but I know what I need to do, and um, I'll be given everything that I have um, from day one right to the end, and hopefully that um, will turn out to be in promotion as well. You were at the game on Tuesday night at Valley Parade. I guess you saw both what it can be like when the fans are behind you, but also the level of pressure and expectation that falls on your shoulders. Are you a kind of person who relishes in that kind of an environment? Without a doubt. I love playing the fans. I hated last season not playing in front of fans. I hate it a lot. I prefer full stadiums, whether you're getting cheered or jeered by opposite fans. <laughs> Hopefully not by your own fans, but no... Um, um, but even if getting jeered by it, literally, I find it uplifting. I find I get, I get motivation from it, and um, I'm excited to play in front of our fans. Obviously, we can intend to have big crowds, but obviously, we've got to go and give us something as well. Obviously, we need to entertain them to give us something to come to cheer and to enjoy watching and want to come back for the next game as well. And that's what we need to, we need to do. If they're happy, then you know you've done a good job. And so that's what the aim is going to um, give the fans something to cheer about. And like I said, they'll be crucial for us come, um, going forward. And just on those spots, finally, it's a sellout away and at Harrogate Town this weekend, the potential for your debut, I guess that's something you're looking forward to. Definitely, um, Derby Day as well. Um, but away fans, I love away fans, and I kind of think it's going to take a big following. I think we should only go and give a boost to every single player that's, um, that's involved. And um, if you can't get yourself up for playing in, in those sort of things, then I don't know. But that's something I'm definitely relishing, um, and I can't wait to play in front of them. Hopefully, that will happen Saturday.